Hey, Brucey. Good girl. Well, we got some projects coming up this year, three of which are right in front of me. So we got to get the use troughs on the building and get our water collection system figured out. Our wood crib, we need to get a roof on that. Hopefully be able to store, I don't know, maybe three bush cords in there, which should be more than ample for us up here. And over the winter, I'm an idiot and I had forgot to put the snow stops on the roof before the winter. So we got a little bit of a bent chimney here. It's still sealed and drying properly, but I have to get up there and get that fixed. This cabin gets so hot, we crack the window upstairs where we sleep. In addition to that, over here, it's much warmer today than it was yesterday. I'm falling through the snow everywhere I go now. This big chunk of land here is gonna get extensively cleared. So all the birch, or sorry, the beach on this property, they all have blight and all need to come down. These are some massive trees, you know, 60, 70, 80 feet, some of them. They all have to come out. And this is a largely maple wooded lot. So I've got a road that sort of runs around this direction and comes back to the driveway. And nearly everything inside that we're going to clear out. So there's going to be a forestry mulcher coming up at the end of April. So we're going to have a nice big open area. I'm mostly after um, an area to put in a solar array. And this property is not very flat. So this is about as flat as an area gets for us. So it's also a great place to throw up a tent, you know, chuck a frisbee, kick a soccer ball. All that, so all this in here is gonna get cleared out. Anything smaller than 20 inches is getting wiped out of this area. We'll keep what we can for firewood. And then uh, my neighbor, Dave, who's amazing, super helpful. He's also our real estate agent up here. He's gonna take all these beech. So to us, they're actually dangerous trees. That tree right there, as beautiful as it looks right now, is dead. And that is a large, heavy piece of wood right there. We actually had a couple of beach that were up over where the sea can is now. And there's one there, you can see where the top is broken off. It's gotta come out of here as well. So all of the beach will be leaving. That's a dead beach. That's a dead beach. I mean, they're everywhere. And he needs firewood. He heats his house with a, a wood furnace. We don't need that much wood right away. I think I have a lifetime supply of firewood up here anyways. So all that beach is coming out and in here, all the poplar, all the birch, they're all gonna get chewed to smithereens and turned into mulch by the forestry mulcher. And then we'll slowly but surely make a little more space. We've done a lot of work on the road already. Come on, Brucey. There's my puppy. Two surgeries for this month this year, two ACLs. It's been a tough year for Bruce, but she's feeling better. Hey, you're a good girl. Come here, good girl. She'll be seven this year. So plenty of work to do up here. We're also gonna put in a bathroom bunkie. So we have a clean, bright, sanitary space for a composting toilet and a shower. And then we're talking about maybe putting an addition on the side of this cabin at some point, but that'll be down the road. It's quite an expensive project in comparison to this other stuff. So, there's my little man. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, shush. Don't be barking. Anyways, there's a pretty good look at uh, what we're going to be up to this year. And we'll fill you in as time permits. It's mid-March now. Still a lot of snow up here. It's going to get warmer this week. And hopefully this subsides a bit so we can get back up here and get some work done. There are also a few of these widow makers. That's got to come out. That's a really big maple. Yeah. Not too, too many. A couple of dead fall, like dead standing. They will get rid of on the way up the driveway here. Are you going to help? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this
this driveway was sort of carved up on a curvy path by the previous owner. He did a decent job of clearing it out. We've done some work to it since with the box scraper. What a beautiful day.